I went to open Inkscape today and I was pleasantly surprised with the new screen that actually lets you configure some of your settings. So over here I have Inkscape and I click on this, you see this pop up that actually has some setup information. So you can choose the canvas, you can choose your keyboard style, you can actually change the icon so it shows a little update of what the icons will look like down here. So these are the classic icons. You can look at symbolic icons like this. You could change this from dark to a light theme if you want. And I actually like it the dark theme and I like to come down here and choose this colorful icons. I think these are pretty cool. For me, it's helpful to have the different colors to actually distinguish between some of the tools. So from here, I can save this as my new startup. And it asks you how you can support Inkscape. So I'll click on this option, how to fund Inkscape here. And there's some donation options on this page. So click on the donation. And I'll come down here, I'll press donate. I'll put in $25 here and then I'll donate with my credit card. So we get this nice thank you message for donating. And if it's within your capacity to do it, I definitely hope that you'll join me in donating something just to keep the project going. It's a great project and every little bit helps and it makes this program available for everybody who needs it. So let's go back to the setup over here and I'll say thanks. There's also some helpful defaults here. So you can choose some common print setups or some screens for designing desktop or mobile applications. Video, so I think that these might correspond to like a YouTube thumbnail. Social media, so some popular canvas sizes here and some miscellaneous others. So that's pretty cool. And we'll just open up a new document. Now here's the new interface. It has some new icons over here. I think these look pretty great and the tools should all work pretty much the same. So I can close out of this export panel if I want to have a little more space here. And now if you want to change any of these appearances, you can come up here to edit and preferences and under interface, theming, you can change some of these things. So you can change the base color for the icons. We have these three colors. We have the green, the pink and the blue that's over here. We can change these icons here so we could use Nix icons but it's interesting I actually can't go back to the icon themes that were presented to me in the first panel if we want to add new icons I was actually looking over here and I found that someone had ported Nix icon pack here so you can actually get the logos by Nick icon pack for the version 1.0 of Inkscape which is great and I found another icon pack here that looks awesome. So this minimal icon by 7K, and this is on the Inkscape site itself. So I'm gonna to try to add this to Inkscape and see if we can use this icon pack. It looks really great. So I'm going to download this. And then I'll just open this up. And I'll extract this to downloads. Great, so we have that there now. And I'll come over here and I'll open up the user icons folder. And I have my downloads folder here. So I'll grab this icon pack and I'll move it over here. I'll just rename this folder. Minimal hyphen icon. Now I'll close out of here. We'll have to restart Inkscape. So I'll come here and I'll close out of Inkscape. And then I'll just open up Inkscape one more time. And I'll just create a new document. And then I'll come to Edit, Preferences, Theming, and now we have Minimal Icon. So I'm gonna click on this. You can see that adjusted the icons over there. We could also go to our theming here and they're using the red color here in this highlight. So maybe we don't want that red color. We can click on that. So first I'll click on symbolic icons and I'll click on this red color and I can change that to something like this. And you can see that that changes it over here. And I can close out and then close out of this. Now that's been adjusted. And in your interface, you can toggle these layers and objects off. So you just come up here to objects to turn that on or come to layers. And those panels are really helpful. So when you start drawing multiple objects like this, 
you can see all those objects over here. You can show or hide those individually. And everything's in one layer here. So we could come here, we could add another layer, for instance, and we could draw a new set of squares. And those are in layer two, and then we have layer one. You can also toggle layers from this panel down here. So you could go to layer one, you could turn that off or on, and then you could actually go to layer two and turn that off or on. And if you want a color palette like this, if you have a different one down here, you could come down here and you could change this color palette down here. So I like the echo icon theme palette, but you could change this to something else. Hopefully that helps you with your new Inkscape setup and you enjoy the new icons. Happy designing out there and we'll see you soon.